Let's go to work. Monday morning here and uh, getting ready to get going for the week. When I last left off uh, last week, we were uh, smoothing out the dings and dents on the uh, back of the bunk. Ended up losing almost two days just to take care of some other stuff in the shop. So uh, didn't really make much progress after that. We got those uh, dings and dents in the back here all smoothed out with some glazing putty. Sand it in, ready for primer. Probably hit everything with uh, 180 and 320 before we prime. Ended up uh, taking off the plastic off the driver's door so I could get in the bunk and open up this door. Got all that flaking paint, corrosion cleaned up. It's pretty nasty on this edge. There's uh, really not a whole lot left. And we got our spotlight holes up there. Uh, we're not going to be putting that spotlight back on, so I ended up glassing that from the back side, glassing in a little bit from the front, and then I got some uh, long strand fiberglass filler to uh, fill out any divots and everything. We'll sand that down and throw some glazing putty, and uh, that'll be good to go. That point, then it's just uh, sanding the entire truck with 320, get it ready for prime, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> morning we are back down here at the garage getting ready to start another day yesterday we made some good progress on uh, truck 32 so let's go see so got the uh, spotlight mounting holes all glassed in all the body work done just gonna finish sanding uh, that in before we prime it. We have the entire truck, well, the lower portion, I shouldn't say the entire truck, has been sanded with uh, 320. 
back of the cab is all set. Just got to uh, finish sanding up the uh, roof cap. And uh, just when you think you get everything all set, I noticed where the cab extenders were mounted or right through the uh, fiberglass. So we're gonna repair that, get that all ready for primer. Hopefully get the rest of the roof cap sanded up today. forward today on uh, truck 32 I uh, started sanding the roof cap we got one side done part of the uh, center and uh, the way the truck was positioned in the bay I could not reach uh, a good portion of the uh, center section so we went ahead and moved that out got the bay cleaned up which it's uh, a big relief for me and uh, Got it back in here, positioned better so I can put a ladder on it and uh, see if we can get the rest of the uh, roof cap all sanded up. So with the uh, truck positioned a little bit better, I can get a ladder on there safely. And yeah, you can see, I definitely could not hit down there. Now, if I uh, reposition the ladder a little bit, I should be able to hit the center and uh, get this buttoned up, get that other side taken care of. It's, uh, it's Friday morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. At least that's what I'm trying to tell myself. Uh, we had a truck lose an oil cooler, so uh, we'll be working on that today. So, yeah, core of that oil cooler must have let go. <clears throat> Pushed oil into the coolant, filled the entire system, entire block, full of a nice coolant oil mixture. It's a real delicacy. As you can see,
we're pooping out little uh, oil coolant turd mixtures. It's uh, going nice and slow actually, it's picking up with speed. We're gonna come out back here, pull this plug at the back of the water manifold, and uh, let the floodgates open to uh, speed things up. This is gonna suck. to go a little bit better now. Oh, dude, that ain't good. That is not good at all. That is supposed to be dumping coolant, oil, whatever. It is not. That is bad, bad. Hoping that might speed it up. Well, at the very least, there's a little bit less restriction in there. forward on this oil cooler got the uh, boost tube off that uh, lower radiator hose you can see it is just goop coming out of there and now we're uh, working on this uh, clamp on the pre-cooler as you can see there is a uh, tube that goes up to the turbo and uh, that clamp bound right up against it so uh, hopefully when we lo loosen the pre-cooler we'll be able to slide that right out of there with a little bit of uh, maneuvering if not we got our work cut out for us currently looking at the engine on truck 35 you'll notice that the uh, 
Oil cooler is changed and everything's back together. We ended up having to pull this oil line here on the top and the bottom to uh, get room to uh, get that clamp off the bellow. Definitely continued to fight us when we went to put it back on. There was a lot of swearing dealing with this uh, pre-cooler, uh, both me and Garrett. So we, uh, we opted not to film. Uh, Friday night, I think we were both here till about 7 o'clock by the time we got this back together and started flushing everything out. This is just one bucket, but uh, that's the sludge that uh, is coming out of the uh, coolant system. Definitely a uh, less than ideal situation. I can't even tell you how many times we've flushed the system, how much cascade we've put through there. Uh, we finally got it coming out clean and no remnants of oil. With the uh, oil cooler done, this truck here is probably, I don't know, 2,000 miles short on a uh, service, so we're gonna take care of that service. We got a uh, service to do on truck 31, that's the uh, red truck, and then 35, which is a dark blue FLD. Sunday morning, trucks are back, they need services best interest of not falling behind and uh, keeping up on things. We'll sacrifice a little part of our day and uh, get shit done.